Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a new business to help share tips and advice within the industry. And today I have Grayson Mills with Mills Landscaping. And Grayson, welcome to the show. Nice to meet you. Yep. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about what you do? Uh, what my company does is we specialize in maintenance of anything landscaping outdoors. So my company comes in and we uh, take care of properties, commercial and residential. Uh, we specialize in custom custom maintenance contracts that uh, we, we prune to everybody's needs, we cut to everybody's needs, and we specialize in really customer service and whatever the customer wants with the maintenance package, that's what we do. Okay. Myself coming from a landscaping background in my previous life, um, I know that as far as maintenance goes, grass, is a, grass cutting is a huge part of it. Um, for this area, what would you suggest is uh, probably the best grass to grow in this area? Uh, this typical area, ma mainly we go in with uh, a fescue blend, and that's, uh, it's, we aerate and oversee with a five fescue mix, and fescue generally does better than any grass around here in this area, because we have cold winters and hot summers, so fescue is the best for this area. Okay, and just to clarify, we're talking about the, the, the uh, Triangle area in uh, North Carolina. Yes, sir. And uh, so then, as far as the fescue concerns, I know different grasses like to be cut at different heights. Um, since that's your most popular or the grass you recommend for this area, how tall should that be kept? We mow all our fescue at four inches, around four inches. The shorter you go, the harder it is in the heat and the harder it is to keep it living. Sometimes throughout the year we, sh we mow shorter depending on the situation. Uh, there's a bunch of different issues we have to deal with. So, But between three and a half to four inches is what we generally mow around. Okay, if a homeowner is cutting their own grass, could you, um, what's some advice you could give them on how to maintain it properly? Most, most advice I have is what I normally tell everyone, mow higher. Most uh, residential, most homeowners, they tend to mow their grass too short, whether their mower says they're mowing at four inches or not. It ends up being that they're mowing it too short, and that really affects the, it, you, you have harder weed control, it's harder to maintain the lawn, it's harder to keep the grass watered, and it, it dies out a lot easier. Okay, now how important it is uh, for uh, a grass cutter, homeowner, or yourself to keep blades sharp? Uh, very very important. We sharpen our blades every week, sometimes twice a week. And what, what happens as a result of not sharpening it to the, to the actual blade? Uh, you, you knock the blade down, you don't fully cut it. It damages the blades and opens it up for, uh, for insects, for funguses, for diseases. Because it, it rips it instead of cuts it. It rips it, yeah. 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 Okay, cool. All right, so then once a homeowner has damaged their yard because they cut it too short and didn't sharpen their blades, what's the best time to kind of reseed it and get it looking good again? Uh, the optimal time is, some people would say August, I say the beginning of September after Labor Day on. I mean, it's a little bit hot right now. That's why we haven't started aerating and overseeding, but right now between September 1st and we sometimes go all the way to the end of October depending on the weather. So that's the best time to aerate and overseed or rejuvenate your lawn by any means. If you want to bring in new topsoil, that's the best time. Any, any kind of lawn renovation is best to do in September to October. Now is that because it's cooler and it rains more or a combination of the both? A combination of both. Of cooler both. nights, uh, cooler nights really helps fescue. Uh, more rain than, and typically this time of year. Hopefully we get some soon. Right. Um, and, and also, isn't it because um, you're not worried about the weeds like you are in the springtime? Yeah, the, weeds, uh, it's, the weed, weeds aren't as strong this time of year as well. But I mean, it, it, this is the optimal time. It provides good uh, germination, which the seedlings take off faster. And it also gives plenty of times for the root to grow and get strong root growth then through the winter. All right, so thank you very much for the information. I appreciate it. And for those of you out there that uh, would like more information on Grayson's company, uh, check out the website at the end of this video. And if you want to continue this conversation online, please do so by filling out the box below. That's all I have for this week. Until next time, take care.